Changes coming to the point of the mountain area when the Utah State Prison is demolished in about two years. ABC4's Rick Aaron is live in Draper with the very latest on the controversy surrounding the transformation. Rick. Well, Glenn, this 700 acres of prime real estate is a dream for developers as a future site of subdivisions and shopping malls. But Draper City Councilwoman Michelle Weeks wants to make sure that they set aside enough open space as well. They're only predicting about 15 to 13 percent open space for the 700 acres. That's not nearly enough. I mean, where are the ball fields? Where's the open space? Where are these people going to go in order to enjoy and recreate outside? Tonight, Councilwoman Weeks is hosting a town hall meeting to get public input, but she says she's gotten backlash from Mayor Troy Walker and her fellow council members. The mayor and the council have been very hostile towards me. I was so surprised and shocked about the animosity and the hostility that I felt from my mayor and council about this town hall meeting. Weeks shared emails she's received, including one from Mayor Walker that says in part, quote, this meeting she is attempting to conduct is not official and should not be conducted at City Hall as if it is official. Using City Hall for her personal meeting is not right. The mayor and the council have written nasty letters to me, threatened me with injunctions, proposed special meetings to change the ordinance that would keep me from having this town hall meeting, um, been very vocal and citing a lot of regulations that they said that I have broken, which I have not. It has been very hostile and I've actually had to get my attorney involved in order to have this town hall meeting. Draper Public Relations Officer Mary Dean Alexander says that Mayor Walker has no comment on this since it is not an official city meeting. Like it or not, that meeting will go ahead. It's scheduled to begin at 6 o'clock tonight at Draper City Hall, and Weeks says that the public is welcome. Reporting live in Draper, Rick Aaron, ABC4 News.